Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sorry for being gone for so long. Um, May, May was kind of a tough month for me in some respects. It was great. Warm weather finally came back around. I was really happy about that. Um, but uh, May's been a little interesting. I got a promotion, so that's always good. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned it or not. Um, I have filmed several videos that have not gone live because of various reasons, technology issues, wasn't happy with how they turned out, all this kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it just, it's just been a few, it's been a hectic few weeks. I've been transitioning in my replacement for my current role, learning new things for my um, next role, and trying to manage a bunch of personal stuff in between, and it's just getting lost. But June is a good month, and I did have some very solid favorites. I don't have I mean, I kind of have a lot, but they're not. There's not a huge variety. But what I do have is amazing. Um, we're filming in a bedroom that is getting some more work done. Been cleaning out my closet. There's a huge pile of bedding. Not the classiest thing, but you know, this is a um, like a a garment rack that we had in our closet in our last apartment, and no idea what to do with so you know might just sell it um because I don't, I don't need it here so anyway welcome back thank you for watching let's get going so first we'll start with my lip color which looks nothing like it does um in real life which i hate and but that's just where we're at it is clinique's chubby stick intense in roundest raspberry it is a limited edition summer color, but I know they still have some. I looked the other day at my store. I think I got it from Lord & Taylor, something like that. Beautiful color, absolutely gorgeous. There's a swatch, and I would say that it's, it's a lot bluer in person, which will probably always be the case. A little more purple. It's not so brick red looking. It certainly doesn't look brick red on my lips, but I really love this formula. I do have one of the regular chubby sticks from the first batch that came out. Um, this one does have much more color, clearly, but yet it's still really lightweight. It's still a balm feeling. It doesn't feel tacky or, you know, hard to keep up with. I can use, I can put it on with my, without a mirror, if I'm having a good day. Um, and the st it stains really nicely, so the color lasts for a really long time, so I've been really, really happy with it. Very, very comfortable product, and for, what, $17, something like that? Um, very worth it, very much worth it. And then, kind of on the same vein of color, I finally, finally, finally bought Max Rebel. And it is such a beautiful, beautiful purple color. It's actually incredibly similar to um, roundest raspberry which I think is interesting I mean it's it's like two versions of the same color um, that so that's rebel and that's roundest raspberry I love this color I bought it this month and I wore it a few times not as much as I probably should have but I'm just absolutely absolutely in love with this color and really can't figure out why I took so long um, to pick it up Matte, it is a satin color, so it's not completely matte. It's not a luster, which I do like lusters. Um, so it lasts for a really long time. Stains perfectly. It's even. It wears evenly. So really big fan. And then my last lip product for the month. This is MAC Sheen Supreme and Can't Get Enough. Of course, it's discontinued. Um, but I did find them online. I did talk about this in my... Um, lip products I'm trying to use up video which was the most recent video to this one um, it's a great formula it's a great nude color it's a great beigey nude um, very moisturizing and hydrating very just quick and easy to apply it's a great formula so if you find another color in this range they do still have the range they just don't have can't get enough uh, which is just vile and all sorts of evil but whatever um but really great formula um yeah i've really been loving that it goes with just about anything and everything so now this is kind of the meat of the of the month for me what i'm about to start launching into 
this was so every summer I get into cheeks bronzer blush that whole thing um, I I've also this year been doing a lot more bright bold lips but I am first and foremost I don't I, like maybe I'm compensating you know I'm so pale maybe I'm comp maybe it's a compensation thing you know I'm trying to this is how I participate in summer I don't get sunburned although I am gonna be going to the pool later but I don't get sunburned or I don't you know I'm not trying to tan intentionally but so the bronzer comes in so first the bronzer I bought first and started using first was is the bronze booster by physicians formula in light to medium a million people have talked about this and I just finally I said yes I said yes um, this I'm wearing it today kind of in this area and as a contour it's such a good color for pale skin it's just wonderful um, I feel like I've talked about it already and I'm sorry if I have but I've really been loving it but what I have been loving it with the most I've, I've got several pairings um, is actually this um, covergirl classic color blush in soft mink again wearing it today trying to wear what I'm loving and these two together which I, if you follow me on Instagram you'll know that I was already excited about these um, they just make such a pretty combination and this has a sheen to it this has some shimmer to it but it's so fine that you can't see it on the skin um, because I'm really having to look to see if it's there. But these two together give this really healthy, glowy look that works really well with a variety of eye looks. So you could have a darker look going on, smokier eye, and a nude lip, or you can kind of inverse that like I do today, and I've got kind of a, a more nude eye and a bolder lip. And I've just really, really, really been loving this combination. Um, this is a color that it doesn't it's one of those like it doesn't look like much in the pan but I think you can see the sheen on it right there but when you put it on it kind of it does get a little bit more noticeable um, I think if you've got if you've got medium skin more deeper skin I think you could wear this as a sheen over top of something else I don't think you'd get a lot of color with it by itself um, if you have a bronzer that you like and you want to add a little bit of rosiness to it and some sheen to it and you know use the bronzer primarily as a blush and then just add a little bit of this on top I think that's how you could use it um, but as a for as a fair skin girl I'm really enjoying this combination and I really hope like it actually imparts a lot of color of course this camera is um, going to deepen it more than it is but it's pretty I'm really I'm a huge fan of that combination okay so the other blushes that I've been using with that bronze booster is another physician's formula product this is the powder palette multicolored blush and blushing natural I love these I have several of these mosaic style products um, I have the bron the brown one which is they, I think they call it mocha blushing mocha or something love it love it love it love it it's a great bronzer if you've got darker skin it's a great blush I don't know why it works but it does but anyway this is the one that I've picked up most recently Target was having a buy one get one free sale on physicians formula hello I jumped on it um, but anyway this is blushing natural it's bringing it back it's kind of an apricot color um, but it's got enough kind of beigey brown to it to be nude I just I love it and it works incredibly well with the bronzer and then finally because it is warmer weather I have been using the bronze booster with the new Milani blush in Delici it's the baked blush in Delicioso pink and I was so apprehensive about this color I love the color like I love it but when I first bought it and started using it I was like this is gonna be so much color for me I don't know if I can handle that much color but I can assure you we both can um, really really impressed with this and when you pair it with a bronzer it's like hello Ibiza where have you been all my life it's like I've been on vacation somewhere highly exotic and 
somewhere I've never been. Um, that's what it looks like on my skin. It doesn't go too warm. It still kind of maintains its blue undertone, which it just, I think, I think, I've played around with the Dior Glow Blush, the stuff, the color that's supposed to transform with your pH, and I've played around with it in stores, and it's beautiful and awesome. I just haven't felt the need to buy it, but I do like it. But I feel like, from what I've seen on other people and from what I've played around with at the counter, I feel like this actually gives me that glow. It gives that same effect of just being kind of glowy. Like there's something about a subtle fluorescent blush that really makes you look incredibly healthy. Anywho, I'm really, really loving this. And if you think that you're going to be too afraid to, to wear this, um, not only do I think you're wrong, <laughs> quite frankly, this color is incredibly flattering flattering um, but I think that especially when you wear a bronzer with it and you work with it it's so smooth it's so easy to blend it doesn't stick to the skin like a lot of really pigmented blushes do um, really recommend picking that up so nice the other one that came out the it's a deeper pink fuchsia that one scared me not gonna lie but this one I think you could pull off I mean I think you can pull off whatever you want to pull off but you know you might be more comfortable pulling that one off how about that okay and then my last combination especially um i bought several products from the uh alluring aquatics collection from mac and i had that's one of the videos that i had wanted to do that i did do i filmed it on an ipad the quality was awful it was moving around like the the auto imaging in the camera um, of the iPad was trying to like every time I moved it would like the whole frame would move and it was it was a, I was so mad um, I actually did this whole video on it and it just was not working out it was not meant to be um, I am showing these because they are my favorites and I am going to be authentic about it however even though it's a limited edition collection I think that if it's if you decide you want to try and find something call around to every single store that carries MAC, has MAC counter, you never know what's gonna be there. Um, these two products that I'm gonna show you are by far, by far my favorite ones. Mac, my favorite MAC products I've bought in a while, even with the, you know, the MAC lipstick and Rebel. Um, first, I bought the blush, the Extra Dimension blush, Seduced at Sea. And so of course there's that gorgeous packaging that we've all seen. And this is the blush. Oh. I love it. Absolutely love this color. It's so beautiful. It's so natural, but yet it's so warm and pretty. It just, I can't, cannot get enough of that. Um, the formula is really, really smooth, really easy to use. It does take a little bit, like you do need a little bit firmer of a brush to pick up the extra dimension products as I am discovering. I have been using my um, Real Techniques multitask brush and that's been working really well. The The other brush that I love to use for blush is the blush brush from Real Techniques and it's just a little bit too soft. It doesn't kind of get in there enough but this is an excellent brush to use with it and it just goes with any eye look. You can put more on and kind of look like you've just been out of the sun which I really like uh, to fake <laughs> um, or you can um, put less on mix it with a bronzer and have stronger eyes or lips so big fan of that one and then this is probably my most favorite favorite this is the MAC extra dimension bronzer in Aphrodite shell this I have been wearing since I bought it like since it since it arrived I cannot this is the first day that I've worn the bronze booster from Physicians Formula in a really long time because as soon as this came in the mail I knew I was gonna love it and I've just been wearing it I mean you can already see the uh, the use and the wear in it it is just such a unique color if they ever re-promote it I'm picking it up again um, I really hate that I didn't have two um, but I love it. It's It's got this kind of pink to the brown. It's just, 
it's like a beige brown. It's incredible. Look at that. I mean, that's, oh, I can't get enough of this. Um, I will buy it again if I ever see it again. And if I, for some crazy reason, something happens and it shows up at a CCO, I will be buying that too. Um, really, really impressed. This is the first time I've used extra dimension formulas and I've been very, very impressed with them. Um, so yeah, we, that's just enough. Two more favorites. And then I actually do have a, a I have one fail. So I busted something, I busted a couple things back out um, this past month. And one of them was my L'Oreal 24 hour infallible lacquer liner. Is that necessary? No, uh, in bronze. So it's a gel eyeliner and they come with a little brush and they're like in cardboard packaging and stuff. I bought this one first. I've had it, it's kind of a dark bronze color. It's not as light as I thought it was. Um, it's a it's a really pretty warm brown. It has, I think it has some, it's not matte. It's got some sheen to it. So, um, but I'm wearing it now. It's pretty dark. It's not as dark as the espresso, which is kind of a super dark brown that has no shimmer to it. Um, I love these. This is such a great formula. So easy to use. I've had this one open. I've had it for a while. I've had it since they came out, maybe a year and a half ago, maybe something like that. Um, and it hasn't dried out. It's gotten drier. I can tell a difference between this one and then the new ones that I've had, but it's not a problem. Like it's still completely smooth. I don't have any issues using it. The only thing I've noticed is that it takes, I use it primarily with a Sigma E05 eyeliner brush, which I love these. I hate to say that, but I do. Um, and it's just a little bit harder to pick up some of the product with this brush. So I think that's that's how I've noticed it. it's a little bit drier, but it still picks up and I can still use it and get a really pretty line with it. It stays just about the best out of anything I've been using, um, even more so than my Stila liners. Once, once it gets warm outside and humid, it's really hard for something not to transfer up onto my crease or brow bone because of the shape of my eyes. It doesn't have as much to do with the products as it does just the shape of my eyes and the friction of blinking. So can't really avoid that, but this I get about the best wear out of. So big, big fan of that one. And it's really inexpensive. So that's even better. And the brush that comes with it is actually really usable. It's actually a really good brush. I wish the handle was longer, but it's incredibly effective as a brush. So keep that in mind. My last favorite, something else I busted out. Um, this, I watched Miss Lola Lynn and she talked about this and I really hope I haven't said that already in a different video, but I don't think so. This is the Lorac uh, Unzipped Palette. Love this, love this, so pretty. Um, I think I use this, I know I use this far more than I use my my Naked 3 palette. Um, I just really, really, when I bought it, I didn't use it that much. Um, and I couldn't figure out why. And then I saw Miss Lola Lynn talking about it. And I was like, oh, I need to pull that out. And so I've used it most of the month. It's been the most consistent thing I've used. And I just really, really love it. Um, I've been using like Untamed which is a deep brown. Um, I've been using this to set my eyeliner. Um, I've been using, I used this one today. This is Unreal and it's such a beautiful kind of nude champagne color. I used that on the lid. And then I used a combination of these two mattes in the crease. This is, the, the more mauve one is Unconditional and this one is Unspoken. So I've just kind of blended those together. And you know, I would wear this one by itself. This is uncensored. It's a great, like all over one shade look color. And then every single time I use it, I blend everything out with this because again, I'm so pale. It's called undercover. So I've used all of them, but primarily the ones I just pointed out. This um, unbridled is this really pretty burgundy color that looks great as an accent. Um, 
and your outer B. And of course it comes with a fantastic mirror. Um, very slim. It's a great palette. You get a ton of product. Really, really, really happy I have this. So, those are my favorites. That's what I've been loving. Um, oh, I do have one other favorite. Totally a random favorite. But you know what? We'll do that after the negative. So, I love a beige lip gloss and it's got of course it's got to be the right shade of beige it has to be the right undertone it can't be too peach it can't be too pink it can't be too brown although I like some brown but I really like a true neutral beige and I was bebopping through Sephora one day and I found these Rouge Infusion lip blackers it's supposed to be a 10 hour lip ink and I saw the color and I wasn't really worried about the the um, staying power uh, which is what they're I guess they're intended to do I was more interested in the beige and that's what this color is it is called beige and I think yes number one beige extract and this is that color and I'm telling you that's probably one of the most perfect beige colors I've ever seen however the formula is atrocious it's absolutely just weird it doesn't look like this when it goes on my lips it looks you can't really see it and I don't have especially pigmented lips so that's just annoying um, it does actually stain it, it will stain my hand let's see if I can wipe it off and show you it will stain my hand it's very faint but it does actually have some so you can see the outline of it there um, but it's just weird it, it just kind of disappears it doesn't do that on my hand I don't know what the deal is but it's going back um, it's $14 for this and if I loved it it'd be totally worth it but I can't stand it so it's going back so maybe maybe the brighter colors are worth it because of the staying power of the color but I'm in it for the shade and the formula because of the formula you can't even see the shade so it's going back anyway my last favorite my last random completely random favorite is a cup I bought a pack of six of these cups at home goods and they're by Cynthia Rowley and they're just big plastic tumblers um, they come in all these cool patterns I think there were six you could even buy eight if you wanted to or something like that but I love these these are this is my summer cup I feel like growing up my mom would always get um, some plas fun plastic cups for the summer some melamine dishes or something like that because we'd eat outside more and that's my son this is my summer cup I think these are perfect for being at the beach, um, being at the pool, as long as your pool allows open containers. Um, I think these are just fantastic. You can put water in them, you can put tea in them, you can put any combination of anything else you want in there. Um, I'm just really, really in love with these. And they're huge, and they hold a lot, and it's just, maybe it's a southern thing, I don't know. It's just a big summer cup. Um, the straw in here is really fun because it's color change. It's, so, it's by Aladdin, and you can find them at Target and stuff. But how fun is that? Doesn't that make you feel like a 10-year-old? Okay, anyway. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope your month has been fantastic. I hope that for both of us, next month is even better than we expected or hoped for. Uh, June is better. Um, June is my birth month, so my birthday is at the end of it. I'm turning 30 but I'm kind of excited to turn 30. It doesn't bother me. I do think I'm going to be looking for, I don't know, I, I want to buy some special things. Probably going to buy some special skincare, stuff that I normally wouldn't splurge on. Um, there's a there's a Glam Glow Thirsty Mud mask I've been keeping my eye on, so we'll see if that happens. Um, my parents are coming up at the end of the month to spend the week here around my birthday and my parents have never been up to Boston since we moved up here so that's really exciting um, yeah I think it's shaping up to be a really fantastic month thank you again for watching please let me know what you've been loving this month uh, you can leave a video response you can leave just leave it a comment um, if there's anything that you think I should stay away from or you think the rest of us should stay away from definitely let me know 
you can follow me on Instagram at New Shine Beauty. Um, and I think there's going to be some more interesting things. I, I purchased some new things that are kind of outside of my normal buying habits. So hopefully those will be good and then I can tell you about them. Um, thank you again for watching. Have a great week and I will see you very soon. Bye.